Sports Championship Television. The hands of Pittsburgh star receiver Larry Fitzgerald, who tonight states his case for the Heisman Trophy. And his quarterback, Rod Rutherford, knows it's do or die in this Miami's final Big it's East appearance. Nice uh, playoff game, you know. We'd like to give, uh, I guess, Miami a uh, goodbye present, a nice one. Goes to ACC with. <laughs> The Pittsburgh duo has electrified the Big East with a dynamic passing attack. Quarterback Rutherford and wide receiver Fitzgerald have brought the Panther offense back to greatness. Week after week, Fitzgerald has made one acrobatic catch after another. For Miami, their mission is to control this wideout with an aggressive defense that loves to make statements. Tonight, the Panthers take on the Hurricanes with the Big East championship on the line. ABC Sports welcomes you to Pittsburgh and the BCS Spotlight Game presented by ADT. A Big East confrontation between Pitt and Miami. Next year, Miami moves to the ACC, but tonight the stakes could not be higher. West Virginia has won today. The winner moves into a tie, but apparently either Miami or Pittsburgh will hold the tie-breaking advantage in the BCS rankings and thus move on to the FedEx Orange Bowl. Rutherford. And the big fellas in on top of him. Vince Wilford from Boynton Beach. The junior with his sixth sack of the season. Second down and long. My read goes nowhere on the draw play. Miami's defensive line now starting to get the feel of this football game. They know they must stop Myrie in order to put pressure on the quarterback. They and split backs. The draft play. Hoping to pick up a little field position. And short of the 20-yard line is Baraka Atkins Roxy. And it'll be punt time. And here comes a weapon for Pittsburgh. Right on behind the left side of the line for the first down. And he breaks it inside the 35-yard line of oh, that offensive line. Cullen Winslow's over there. They run behind him to Dayline. Touchdown. They won't catch Moss. Tyro Moss behind the left side. Vernon Carey and Eric Winston blow it open. The senior from Miami and the sophomore from Midland, Texas. That's where the power is up front for the Canes. They pull it a backside guard around Joe McGrath. He comes in just right off his block inside off Brian Bennett. And Tyrone Moss almost stops himself here. I don't know if he pulled up or tripped or what. But he, nobody was going to catch him but him. The power running game for the Canes. And Brock Berlin. An open man. Cross midfield with the completion. So Brock Berlin hits Senerice Moss again, the sophomore from Miami. They'll run Moss. Cut back home. First down, Miami. Here's Moss straight ahead to the end zone. Touchdown. Miami takes the lead as Tyro Moss, the freshman from Pompano Beach, powers in for the go ahead score. Boy, they follow number 81 again. I know they're pulling guards. But when you don't throw, throw the ball to Winslow, why not run the ball at Winslow? Same play the other way. Same but thing other way on two. Hunk it up in there. Gets a little help this time for Carey and just pushes it into the end zone. Ellen Winslow, he can do it all. And he'll be doing it soon on Sunday. Well, here comes Taylor, the all-everything safety. I know some of the fellows who great players have him at the very top of the list, Gary. And I agree. One of the best players in college football. He's got the full package. An opposing guy. I mean, he's big safety out there. He's like a brick wall as a safety, too. You run at him, you don't go through him. And he reads plays, runs and passes, as well as any safety since Ed Reed. Remember, Ed Reed used to do that very well for Miami. I think he's going to impact player in the NFL. The team in Fitzgerald. Antrell Roy, one of the best cover corners in the country, is all over Fitzgerald. And Sean Taylor up on the run that time. Well, earlier, remember now, we asked you the Affleck trivia question, who was the edge? Roll jumps on the slot. Rutherford, though, looking to the left. Sack again. Number 17, D.J. Williams rolling in on the quarterback 
and Pittsburgh must punt from the shotgun. Berlin under pressure set the screen and set it up beautifully for Gathers. Down the right sideline, Gathers breaks free in a foot race. Ten stumbles down at the one yard line, brought down from behind by Shante Spencer, the senior from Rankin, Pennsylvania, who caught him at the one. It's going to be an all out blitz, a bear package. Watch Kellen Winslow, number 81. The screen pass actually gets two blocks, gets one right there, then turns back and gets another one right there. Beautiful job by Winslow reading the play. Held up his man long enough and then turned back and got the pursuit on the play. Winslow sets the power to the left and here comes Peyton, touchdown. Well, that was a gamble. Brock Berlin fell down to get tripped by the guard and he pitched it to Peyton. It was supposed to be a handoff. Timeout. So Kellen Winslow leading the way. Shields How about you guys? sees the, the screen is set. Let's go! Makes initial contact, drops back, picks off a second man, doing the little things, and Miami leads it 21-7. And that's his first miss of the night. Quarterback draw play going nowhere against this Miami defense. So while there has been criticism this year of the Miami offense, in no way could you ever criticize this defense. They're as good as advertised, as good as ever. Vilma with the play. And the one thing Coker and his staff have not said publicly this week, but they love the prospect. They absolutely relish the prospect of the possibility that they could have a rematch with Ohio State in the FedEx Orange Bowl. Yeah, they have not it. said a word, but everybody quietly is saying, oh, please, please. <laughs> so the back judge on the field will keep the time. Gathers, cuts back, keeps going. First down to the 46-yard line. Yeah, oh, you can't. Yeah. the first six. Down at the 15-yard line, lost five yards on the play. You see him right there. Rutherford goes back, steps up, fires middle, intercepted. Sean Taylor. And so Sean Taylor picked him up that time, and number 26 makes the pick and shows you why he's the number one safety in the country and a leading candidate for the Bednarik Award given to the best defensive player of the year. There, what a Taylor, player. Right over there to the outside, they bracketed him. Sean Taylor, Red Rutherford, watch him beat him to the spot. Fitzgerald comes across, ball's thrown a little bit too far, but Sean Taylor's about as good as there is at safety as when that ball gets in his area, he grabs it. That's his seventh interception of the year. He, le he leads the Big East. Yeah, that's, Gary, that's number eight. He oh, I'm sorry, in. yeah, came in with seven, you're right. And uh, oh, three of them he'd taken back for touchdowns, so he makes number eight, and it's down at the 14-yard line. First down and 10. Goes to Peyton. Keeping it on the ground, pounding away. Pump fake this time now. Going deep, got a man. Touchdown, Miami. Parrish. As Brock Berlin off a pump fake. Gets him open for a 45-yarder. And what that does for Berlin's confidence. He ran all the way down in the end zone to embrace his wide receiver. And this Kane offense looking better and better. It's a slant and go, just a little wiggle in from the outside. It's been run, run, run. Look at the inside technique right there. Comes in, looks back, and boom, he's by Ferguson very simply. Ball doesn't have to be thrown perfectly, but just good enough. You never want to miss one of those wide open guys that been here with a sensational game plan. They have used the run to set up the pass, and they lead it now by three touchdowns. Timeout. Had a pass that was picked off by Taylor. Now running to the left and going nowhere. Pull move by Vilma. Remember, Gary showed you that play in the first half. Well, this time it is Vilma. He's waited a long time. They ridiculed him when they ran the play in front of the team, the coaches taped last year. He's had to hear for a long time that Rutherford pulled him over. And Vilma said, not this time, my friend. And with a little help. Yeah, my hat's off to Coker here the last few weeks. I think he's done a terrific job. And uh, tonight, paying a dividend is Rutherford 
is sacked again. And that's a fourth sack as Wilfork and Carroll close. Hey, Walt Harris continues to try to run the ball. There's the shot. Oh, look at Wilfork close on the running back that time. What a job he did picking up Tim Murphy. The junior from Akron, Ohio. Another potential number one draft pick is right there, Vince Wolford. Little stunt inside. Now watch him accelerate. Guy weighs 350, 60 pounds. You can't move him, and he's going to be a tremendous NFL football player. Sweet feelings about it, but I think I'm time. It's time for me to go with my brother. All right, Jack, good job on that story. Berlin with the completion as Kevin Everett. Play seniors they have on the football team here. Rutherford got a little time. First and ten for 13 Jesse, yards. Just Jesse. Sean Taylor unloaded. <laughs> you know, he returned interceptions for touchdowns, punts for touchdowns. He's blocked punts. He's made tackles like that in the secondary. He's made tackles on the running plays. He, as we showed in the first animation, he, he reads plays quickly. He's as good as you've seen in college football. Has any safety ever been drafted number one in the draft? I... No, the highest is Roy Williams that I can remember in a while. Yeah, that's that's a sack. Sack. Double sack. DJ Williams was in there along with Kareem Brown. Run the ball, no confidence to pass protect right now. Here it is. That's Kareem Brown, number 99, coming in on him. That is the sixth sack of the game. He's thinking good things here. He breaks free, 40, 45, midfield. The defense has the angle, and Jared Payton is down at the 26. We could have two Miami running backs tonight. We have over 100 yards, and he just did it. Is Spencer. I just knocked her on the ground. I want you to get your hands on that video. <laughs> Here comes Rutherford in trouble, and down he goes again. Number 57, Javon Nanton. And what a story Nanton is. He's been the sack master off the bench over there. Folks, he came to Miami on a track scholarship. That's right. And now he has seven and a half sacks. This is Moss trying gathers. Let me check that. That's number three. Jason gathers from Delray Beach. All right, Mr. Dan. Well, here, look, look who's traveled up from South Florida. He says, cold, heck, I'm not cold. I am the best mascot in college football. He became the unofficial <laughs> mascot back in the 20s and uh, does a lot of nice things down there in uh, South Florida. 1957, John Stormont. Well, there you can see down there. Huh? 65, South Beach. Very comfortable 29 up here in Pittsburgh. <laughs> what is it? Does that mean it's 64 degrees where you live up about 10 minutes? Brought the bird looking. Does he have time? No, he's going to be sacked for a ninth time in this game. And Rutherford. Middle yeah. intercepted at the 12-yard line. Picked off by Maurice Sykes, the safety. Still going. 35, 30, one man to beat. And caught from behind at the 15-yard line. Sean Taylor came all the way downfield to block for him, but he was caught from behind as he was breaking free by Brockenbrew, the wide receiver. There's the interception, thrown way late, two deep safeties, standing 20 yards deep, just reading the guy going right down the middle right here. The off safety just reads it as the ball's thrown too short, comes and catches it, and finishes the game for Miami. Sykes had to numb his hand. It bothered him even in practice. Had to see, receive a little injection to play in the game tonight. Sacks tonight and two interceptions as Rutherford back to throw again. And there's the third interception. And Mr. Taylor has a pair of them on the night. Where he break on that Sean football? Taylor came so fast. The 6'3 junior from Miami incident. We got a call from New York that Kenny Easley was the safety who was oh, yeah. drafted the highest 
by the NFL. He was picked number two out of UCLA by Seattle. Roy Williams went three to Dallas. I think he's got a right side of the screen way up to the top right there. He's going to watch him break on this football. I mean, that, uh, that is what you look for. A guy who can play safety and be comfortable with the ball in the air, and you're going to try to lateral it at the end of the game, too. Nine interceptions, and he returned three of them for touchdowns yeah. this year. This is not one of your premier Miami offensive teams, but here tonight, they get 476 yards of offense. They rush for 281 yards. Brock Berlin throws for 195. They win it 28-14. And a very big smile on Berlin's face. Well, ABC Sports is online at abcsportsespn.com. Search ABC Sports. And don't forget Monday Night Football, the Titans and the Jets at 9 Eastern time. So for Gary and Jack, I'm Brent saying so long from Pittsburgh. Congratulations to Miami.